We don't need to wait for the fullness of the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven to come so that we can live with compassion, with love, and act justly and act generously. Yeah, and so what I see this morning, if there's anything about this wisdom that should stir us, move us, move our hearts, make us consider things, is this call to change. And I wonder, have you experienced that in your life before? I could only speak for my experiences, but I've given the opportunity and the blessing to, to serve in missions in Skid Row, Los Angeles, downtown, to see and to be with people who are at the very bottom of the bottom. I've had the privilege to serve in hospice uh, uh, organizations and companies, be at the bedside of people for months, uh, weeks, days, and hours. I've had the opportunity to be a, a, a presence at facilities that contained people who were terminally ill with diseases that just got worse and worse and worse, but to walk with them and to talk with them and to pray with them. I guess what I'm saying is that every time I was encountered by these such people, by these such opportunities, it's like somehow my heart just grew. It expanded. It was like my life changed. It's like something was different in me. I would leave those spaces with a whole new sense of reality, a whole new sense of what matters in this world. And I was presented a similar offer at the end of this last year, last year, Faith Action, which is a ministry here in Hawaii. Many of you are familiar with it. That started in 1996 and for the last 30 years has been doing advocacy work, great work on behalf of the voiceless and the oppressed and the mistreated here in Hawaii. In fact, their, their mission is to improve the quality of life for all the people of Hawaii. And they were experiencing many of the same things that the church is experiencing. Lack of engagement, lack of support, people not showing up, the church is not here, what happened, what's going on? And I was given the opportunity and I accepted the opportunity to be their president. Yeah. Because I said, I know that if I can join this, my heart will grow. My life will change. And I know it because I know I will encounter those who are at the bottom, those who are hurting, suffering, those who need someone to speak up on their behalf. And I wonder how many of us can receive this wisdom this morning in such a way to be changed and to feel 